Hey, y'all, y'all already know what this is. I am Dean. I am your host. This is By Any Means. Hey, y'all. Bill out here lying again, y'all. Bill back out here lying again, y'all. Yep. Bill back out here lying again. Him and Devin. Talking about they didn't talk to Sabriel Matias, manager and his promoter. They ain't talked to neither one. They didn't even talk to Sabriel Matias, um, manager. They got they they said the wrong person. That's how you know Bill knew it was a lie from the door. Because if you said the wrong person, then that means you never talk, really talked to the right person. And I'm sorry if you want me to believe that Bill Haney is not smart enough to sit up there and know to get certain information be before he put it out there to the public. He can fool y'all. He ain't going to fool me. BFTB and all of them can fool y'all. They ain't going to fool me. So, bro, Matias, people come out and say, we ain't never talked to them about nothing. That's not even... The guy that they said has nothing to do with Sabril Matias. He's not his promoter, his manager. They don't even know each other. And Bill came out here and said that cap and stuff, and I keep telling y'all, I'm going to keep being on him every time he cap. Y'all out here running with the narrative. BFTB said that he wasn't running with the narrative that Javante Davis got a fight him at 140, but then he posts earlier talking about Regis Prograve, duck, um, Javante duck Regis Prograve at 140. How? When you was just on Knockout Channel, and that was my whole argument. If Bill and Devin said that they'll fight um, Javante Davis at 135, why are you pushing for it? Why do you keep calling Javante a duck when Bill and Devin said that they'll fight him at 135? Look how it come around, though. But y'all keep y'all noses up these men's behind. And if and if, and, and listen, it backfires every time. You know how many people um tweeted on that, reported that he called Sabriel Matias. You know who really did call Sabriel Matias was Tiafimo Lopez because then Devin and um his daddy would have found out that his hand was messed up anyway. That man came out here and said that he talked to Sabriel Matias' manager. He didn't even have the right person. That lets me know that Bill was really a liar because he would know that. You think I you, you really want me to believe that Bill want to set up a fight with somebody and not find the right person to talk to about it? Do y'all believe Bill or not? Do you think he's an idiot or not? I need to know. Do you think he's an idiot or not? Oh, you don't think he's an idiot. You think he be he so I'm pretty sure that he knew that that guy he said wasn't Sabriel Matias manager, but he sat up there and lied. That's not even his promoter. And then Sabriel Matias got to come out with his representatives to say they have never reached anybody or talked to anybody that comes from my direction. And it was and all of this is proven, y'all. So before you Devin Haney fans get in my comments and say anything, go do your research because y'all was quick to talk but don't know what you're talking about. Was quick to talk but ain't know what you was talking about. I told y'all, every time they got a fight, they mentioned Javante name. They didn't even get to the post-conference before Bill Haney had Javante Davis' name in his mouth. And then you got some of my homies, Dean, we ain't worried about Javante. You're not, but Bill Haney clearly is when he got on Fanon Channel and sat up there and said they'll fight Javante at 135. And then y'all tell me about B-Size can't send contracts, but Devin Haney sent the contract to um, Gary Russell Jr. when he was clearly the B-Side. Devin has done this before. Caleb Plant and all, everybody Canelo has ever fought has sent him an offer. Canelo ain't sending offers to nobody, especially before he got with Al Haney. Bill and Devin are liars. It's simple as that because they sat up there and trash tank, but then 72 hours before that, you said Tank was an all-time great. So how can, how can Tank be a duck and be an all-time great at the same time? So he's all time great. He just he's not ducking nobody else. He's just ducking you, man. Y'all go ahead and believe that BS all y'all want to. Y'all some clowns, and I'ma be on it. He he don't want no smoke with Sabriel Matias, and this just showed that he don't want no smoke with Sabriel Matias. Because if you really want some smoke with with Sabriel Matias, you would have went. You would have took the time out to find the actual people to talk to. How everybody else know how to get in touch with Sabriel Matias, but you don't. And then why would you put it to the public? I'm pretty sure Bill ain't out here just saying shit to the public. 
without doing his research? No, he deliberately wanted to lie. He know he never talked to that man. BFTB, no, he never talked to that man. BFTB, that's my guy. He cool, but he just going to believe whatever Bill tell him anyway. He's a yes man too. He's going to believe whatever Bill tell him. So Bill told him that. BFTB made a video this morning and ran with it. And this is why boxing is messed up. This is why. Because content creators won't even wait till they get the proof to say something. Because Bill said so, remember? <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. That's what I'm calling Bill Haney from now on. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm sorry, my guy. You can't trust Bill with a $3 bill. I'm just saying, I wouldn't trust Bill with a $3 bill. If you understand, you understand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sabrell Matias and them people put that out there immediately. He, he called who? He ain't called. That's my manager. That's my promoter. Did he talk? He, he said he talked to them? No, he didn't. Okay, he's a liar. The guy he said has nothing to do with Sabrell Matias, literally. But I know Bill knew that already because I refuse to believe that Bill would say he talked to somebody and he really didn't talk to him. That means that he already deliberately wanted to go. He wanted to go live because if Bill really wanted to talk to Sabrell Matias and his people, Bill would have did his just do and found the real people to talk to. Well, what you going to do when you got to pick up the Rougarou? I just want, I'm just saying, I'm just saying he knew how to get in touch with Regis Rogue people. He know how to get, remember, this is the same guy that said he ain't got Hal Heyman number, and y'all believe that. Y'all called Javante Davis a duck, but never said nothing about Bill talking about um, he ain't got Al Heyman number. Then BFTB told me David Benavidez don't send contracts as Al Heyman, but then keep saying that Javante Davis ducking. So how is David Benavidez not ducking, and you don't hold him, and he's the B-side and sent the offer to Canelo? The A side don't send offers. They y'all are trying to fight me, not vice versa. And when will y'all understand that? So if Javante Davis just said nothing. Him, Calvin Ford, um, Coach Kenny just said nothing at all. Javante Davis will never fight again. So nobody, if Javante Davis told Al, don't send out an offer to nobody. Y'all think Javante Davis will never fight again? Y'all said B-sides don't send contracts. Devin Haney has been the B-side and sent the contract. But y'all sit up there and run with these narratives from BFTB, Champ Side, all these clown-ass dudes. Not even to call BFTB a clown. I'm sorry I had to mix you in with Champ Side. My bad, bro. Because I actually kind of like BFTB. He just, that is Devin Haney and them real peoples and family. So don't expect no objectivity from him. You ain't going to get it. He was the first person to report on this this morning. Go look at his comments. I put it right under there. You think he responded to me? No, he not. And BFTB got respect for me. But he know that he was wrong. He know that. But he got to keep this facade for his fans. Bill Haney and Devin Haney are the biggest cappers I have ever met in boxing. You just called Javante your all-time great. Y'all just said y'all will fight him at 135. But you got all his fanboys, all his fanboys trying to say something else. Devin didn't say that. Why are y'all arguing for stuff that Devin's not arguing for? Devin said that he'll fight him at 135. Bill got on for and said he'll fight him at 135. Why are y'all asking for anything else differently if y'all really want to fight? Knowing Javante Davis is the A-side. Knowing you can't tell Canelo what fucking weight class y'all um, fighting in. Y'all know this. But y'all gonna act like y'all don't know this. Y'all know Devin Haney has been the B-side and has sent contracts. Y'all know this. But y'all going to act like y'all don't know this. Y'all know that every B-side ever that is for Canelo has sent him a contract. Canelo wasn't. Y'all think, y'all think, y'all literally think that Al Heyman came to Canelo, right? Before he got to PBC and said, well, Canelo, we can um, make a deal happen, but you got to send the offer to Jermel, Caleb Plant, David Benavidez. You got to send the offer to them. Yeah, that's how that happened. But then y'all be the same people that get up there and say that Canelo can pick and choose. How can you pick and choose? What is he picking and choosing from? Other fighters, right, who all are asking to fight him. Caleb Plant asks to fight Canelo, not vice versa. 
Jermel asked to fight Canelo, not vice versa. Y'all go on other people's channel, listen to what they say, run with it, and then wind up being wrong. Tell Javante to fight at 140. That's not what Bill and Devin said he had to do. So why are you saying it? Did Bill and Devin say that? No. You mean the same Bill and Devin that sat up there and said they talked to Sabrina Matias people and try to act like he ducked them? They sat up there and tried to frame that man for a duck. Now that got me thinking, y'all really scared of him. Because what you do that for? That was unnecessary. I, that was unnecessary. What did you do that for? You know you ain't talked to that man, peoples. But you tried to frame me for a duck. So later on, y'all can make an excuse about why you ain't fight him. Now you got to fight him. Because you tried to act like the man was ducking you and y'all lied on that man. And all y'all Devin, and any Devin Haney fan that come in my comment section, and you're okay with this, I'm blocking you. Just know that. You're getting blocked. You're not allowed. We're not cool. We're not nothing because you's a fraud too. And I don't have no frauds around me, my guy. Anybody that come in my comment section and say, Javante got to fight him at 140, I am blocking you. Period. Anybody that says Devin Haney um, can't send a contract, why Tank can't send a contract? Because David Benavidez sent a contract. Don't he really want to fight? What Tank got to do? Y'all niggas is jealous of Tank. Just admit that part. Because Devin Haney beat Regis Prograve and all y'all was on Tank. Y'all say y'all not worried about Tank, but everything Devin do, y'all try to bring Tank name in. Every single thing that Devin does, y'all try to bring Tank in it. A clue in Bill Haney himself. Then Bill Haney, Bill Haney went on Vanon Channel two weeks ago and said, now nah, we'll make Tank comfortable at one at 135. You know why he ain't cursed Vanon out and say, tell Tank to um the to get his fat butt up to 140 because he know the Panon would have cursed him out. Bill know the real. Bill know who the, he could pull that on and who he can't pull that on. See right through it. He didn't say any of that. And then two weeks later, after y'all win the fight, telling him to pull his fat butt up. How is Javante Davis fat when he's on his third weight class, idiot? Your son has stuck at one weight class for 10 years. Your son did that. So who's really the fat? Who really fat? Because he had to take his draws off just to make 140. He had to take his draws off just to, to make 140. So y'all know what this is. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Liar, liar, bills on fire. Liar, liar, bills a liar. That's just how this, this is, y'all. Y'all tried to frame a man for a duck and got played. Y'all tried to frame a man for a duck and got played. Running his mouth all the time. Running his mouth. The 140 thing goes out the window when Devin and Bill said they'll fight Javante at 135. So I don't want to hear nothing about 140 no more. When Javante Davis said he wasn't fighting at 140 two and a half years ago when T.O., Ryan, and Devin all was at 135. So don't act like he's saying he ain't fighting at 140 now because they, they are there. Y'all are liars. And I'm on every last single one of y'all helmet. Yes, I am. Y'all know what this is. Hit that cash app because y'all be stingy on that cash app. Ain't nobody hit that cash app yet. Hit this besides my girl, Key Alexandra. Thank you, Key. That's how you really show support. Hit that cash app. Y'all know what it is. Bing, buy, any, means, and I'm out.